Hey everyone, and thank you so much for taking the time to look at this Kickstarter. My name is Tim van Kan, founder of Timer Games, and I'm really happy to announce our upcoming game, Beam Extreme. Beam Extreme is a fast-paced third and first-person last man standing shooter. We currently support up to 32 players. When playing Beam Extreme, you start off in the lobby map. Here you get to play around with abilities and weapons and just sh uh, shoot at other players. When enough people have joined, you will be transported to the last man standing map. In the last man standing map, the map will gradually become smaller as you fight to be the last man standing. Pick up your weapons, pick up your abilities, start killing everything on your path. We are currently aiming our release for the end of 2016, with no microtransactions or any paid DLC ever. You might wonder, what sets us apart from other games out there? We thought about this as well, and we came up with a few things we believe are really important to this type of game and this genre. First of all, we have special abilities in our game. There is a sprint boost, which will allow you to run faster for a short amount of time. There is a jump boost, which will allow you to jump higher with more air control. And then there's the dash. The dash will allow you to do quick teleportations in uh, different directions. We are trying to keep the information on your screen too minimal. So you can see your player's health, you can see what weapons you have and how to equip them, and you can see your abilities and how many charges you have left. If you take damage, it is fairly clearly indicated on screen by both sound and UI. Lastly, we decided not to implement any sort of mini-map or map screen to the game. Our game is called Beam Extreme, and the beam is always at the center of the map. As the match progresses in the last man standing game mode, the map the playable space becomes smaller and you're forced towards the beam. If you ever get disoriented or don't know where to go, all you have to do is look up to the sky. Then you can see the beam and then you know where to go. Let's talk about our met goals for a second. Uh, we believe that it's really important that we let you know where we're at. Uh, first of all, we have the lobby map in. The lobby map is already in, it's had its details passed, it's looking good and it's performing really well on, with all of our playtesters. Everyone's really enthusiastic and we are incredibly happy with the results. We're experimenting with the actual last man standing map, making sure that it performs properly and that it looks good. Besides this, our four abilities are all in game and working. We haven't had any issues in the latest play test. Character customization is also a feature that is in and working. You can now select different characters and in some cases also a different skin for that character, which we're really proud of. Now let's talk about multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer is already in, it's working. We're connecting through Steam and it's all going really well. We're hoping that as soon as we get greenlit, we'll be able to go further into this and possibly add dedicated server support. This is something we really want to do, but it's still on the to-do list. A lot more has already been done, but these are the ones that we are most proud of. You might wonder, why are we doing a Kickstarter? We have already invested a lot of time and personal resources into the project. And to be honest, it's been really easy coming up with new ideas. In all honesty, we've had a lot of fun coming up with new ideas and we would love to spend some more time polishing, optimizing and adding these new ideas before we go live with a build to the world. That's why we're doing Kickstarter. What will Kickstarter allow us to do? First of all, we have the animations. We would like to overhaul about 90% of the animations. We are happy with the current ones, but we believe that they could look a lot better and more smooth. We would also like to do a big overhaul on first person. The functionality at the moment is fine, but we would like to improve the visuals and optimize the uh, animations a little bit. We would also like to add more weapons, not just modern military weapons, but maybe also some special weapons. We have some cool ideas for a melee system and maybe different projectile weapons, so think bow, crossbow. We have to look what's possible there. But yeah, the Kickstarter money, once again, would really help us out. Optimization is really important, of course. We're doing a, a pretty big, pretty big levels and we're doing a fast paced third first person uh, shooter game. So making sure that it performs on as many machines as possible is really important to us. There are some amazing tools out there, but we just can't quite get our hands on it because there's a financial gap between us and the tools. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching everyone. There's probably a ton of information that I've missed in this video. So if you have any questions, please leave them on the Kickstarter page or on the Steam Greenlight page. And we'll try to release some update videos in the upcoming days. I'd like to ask you to consider donating 
or maybe just voting yes on the Steam Greenlight page and telling your friends, family, pets, everyone. Tell everyone. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you. Make sure to uh, join our subreddit or like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and stay in contact with us and we'll try to do the same towards you. I'm looking forward to the release in the near future and thanks again for watching.